I know that. I'm Scotty, and you're not. And uh, <clears throat> I pulled out 90s last time. So we're looking at Tombstone, 1993, starring. You ready for this? Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, Michael Bean, Powers Booth, Robert Burke, Dean Dana Delaney, Sam Elliott, Stephen Lang, Joanna Pacula, Bill Paxton, Jason Priestley, Michael Rooker, John Tenney, Billy Zane, Charlton Heston. So there's like one little scene in this film. It's directed by George P. Cosmatos, who I believe did uh, Cobra <clears throat> and some others for Stallone. This was the first time I had heard about this movie many times. My mom has watched this movie many times. I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I never saw the whole thing. This is the first time I've sat and watched the whole thing with Tombstone. I watched it on Peacock. Which is cheating, I had this. But I wanted to play a little 2K22 as well, so. The video came, so I watched it. Uh, the movie was fantastic. Begin and I enjoyed it. It's really weird because. When I first bought this Blu-ray, I tried watching it. And I couldn't get into it. I was just like, uh, not for me. I'm, I'm by nature, I'm not a big Western fan of Horror, action, comedy, a little bit of sci-fi, some dramas. Western, never been a big thing for me. I have seen westerns, but I don't think I've, I think about it, I don't think I ever, I've sit and, sat through a full western. Like, I've seen bits and pieces of this before now. Bits and pieces of True Grit, bits and pieces of other westerns, but I don't think I've actually sat through an entire western, as far as I can remember. So this is the first. And I think <coughs> this movie is fantastic. It's probably the best Western I've ever seen. It is somewhat historic with White Earp and Doug Holliday and stuff like that. But it's in no way like historic, historically accurate. If you want a more historically accurate but boring version of this film, watch Kevin Costner's White Earp. I hear it is more historically accurate, but also more boring. But, uh, for this film, oh, where do I start? Oh, oh, stop yawning. I'm going to start with this. Now, no movie is completely perfect. So I do have some minor negatives. They're just little things that I picked out uh, mostly towards the end of the film but uh, yeah so I like the performances of most of these actors Kurt Russell especially uh, Val Kilmer kills it as Doc Doc Hall at this point in his life was bedridden almost bedridden he was dying of tuberculosis tuberculosis he just keeps going, right? He keeps going in this film. You think he's out, he comes back. And in anything, he's out, he comes back. He just keeps going until the very end when he finally does pass away. I think he could bounce back again, you know. But, and Al Kilmer's just fantastic. And ha there, this movie is one of the most quotable movies out there. And half of the lines, if not most of the lines that you quote, are his. Say when. I'm your Huckleberry. Well, I'm sorry, I forgot you were there. Why you are an oak? Perhaps my hypocrisy was not as good as I thought it was. Something like that. You know? Just fantastic. And there are other actors in this. Powers Boot, I think, is great as a villain. Although he doesn't get as much screen time as I thought he would. Mangle Bane gets more of the villainous thing. And even that. We'll get to that. Uh, you have Sam Elliott. Who is mumbling through his mustache. As usual. Uh, 
it is, and I know it's a running joke where it's kind of hard to understand him, but it is kind of hard to understand sometimes. And then you have Bill Paxton, who, you know, is famous for the game over, man, game over. He plays the one of uh, White Earp's brothers, Morgan. He's the brother who died. There's a kind of a continuity error. Because, like, after he finds out that uh, Sam Elliott was shot, you know, his arm. Whatever it was, he was shot in the arm. He can't use his arm anymore. He gets all pissed and says he's going to go deal with it. And the next scene, he's just in the pool hall playing pool. And he gets shot in the back. And he's killed. And it's like, wait, what happened? It's just a minor detail. Uh, there's also a romance subplot between... Uh, Wyatt Earp, and this singer played by Dana Delaney. Uh, more on that in my negative section. But they do have good chemistry, I'll say that. And the action scenes, it's George P. Cosmatos, and so he knows action scenes. Uh, the action scenes are actually done pretty good, save for a few towards the end. I thought the whole montage of them just killing the bad cowboys was just like, okay, there's no big... There's no big showdown, really, where it's a Western and you want, like, a showdown. There's the Battle of the OK Corral. That's pretty good, but there's no, like, you think, like, there's a couple scenes. I'll get I'll get to that in the negatives, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I think there's some decent action scenes and good, you know, gun scenes. And it's really, like... The story is that Wyatt Earp was one to retire. He's not a marshal anymore. He doesn't want to do any of this stuff. He goes to Tombstone. People run a while out there. His brothers are forced to do something about it. He doesn't want to do it. Eventually, he's forced to become the marshal to keep the law, but things don't go the right way. Yeah. The performances, good action scenes. I think the. The score, who did the score in this? Bruce Broughton. Never heard of him. The score was decent. It was fine. Nice score. The cinematography is fantastic. I think it looks great. It feels like an authentic Western. If, like, if I had to put this on and you didn't know it was from 1993, I don't think you'd be able to tell it came from 1993, bar from the actors. So he'd say, well, this is something from the 80s or even the 70s, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, I thought this was a pretty solid film. There were a few things that we need to talk about in negative categories. Let's go ahead and talk about them now. Uh... So, uh, the villain. You think it's Power Boost character, Curly Bill. But he goes out kind of like a bitch. Because you think they're going to have this big showdown, right? And, but then they, you know, then it just ends with uh, Wyatt showing up, yelling no a bunch of times, and shooting him point blank in the chest with a shotgun. And then it, Suddenly changes to uh, Michael Bain's character. Uh, I can't remember his name. Who's the villain? He, okay, they're going to have the showdown. But when Wyatt says he's going to deal with it, all of a sudden Doc shows up and kills him. Man dying of tuberculosis, but he's able to get the shot out first and kills the man. And it's like, okay, that's two big showdowns we could have had kind of just thrown away. And you, and I, you know, they kill Curly Bell and they're still going around killing cowboys. It's like, well, shouldn't he be the ultimate villain? No, we got the other guy. And it's like, okay, so it takes care of him. I think they still kill people after that. No, no, they don't, because he's the only one left. So to take care of him, or Doc takes care of him, and then Doc dies. 
you know, I don't know. That that they feel like the villain villain was a little underwhelming. And then there's the romance, which I thought they had good chemistry, him and Danny Lenny. But the problem is that this whole thing makes no sense to me because Wyatt is already married, and he sends his wife with his brother off out of town when things start to get rough. But then the end of the film has Wyatt getting together with Dana Delaney's character. And it's like, wait, uh, what? A and they're like, oh, they were together for 47 years. I'm like, what happened to his other wife? I, I, I don't remember her name, but they, says, they say a woman's name and say that she committed suicide. So is that a way? To, did that actually happen that way? Or did she kill herself because of what Wyatt was doing? Because it's very convenient that she would kill herself and then he'd be free to be with her. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But those are my only real negatives. I enjoyed this film from beginning to end. I thought it was fantastic. Uh... Uh, the action scenes were on point. Good gunshot stuff. Uh, I'm not a big fan of westerns. This is certainly one that I would go to bat for. And when it comes to Tombstone, I have to say, it's pretty, 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 pretty good. So, what's the next one? So our next category. Oh boy. It's 70s. I'm gonna use my second mulligan. I'm gonna, well, first of all, take it out. I'm not ready. I just did 90s. I don't wanna do a decade based one again for the second time in a row. So we're gonna go with Nicolas Cage. I'll put the 70s one back in. So we'll go with Nicolas Cage. Nicolas, Nicolas Cage next. The next one I do. I do believe I have a movie. Wait, we'll find out. But yes. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on Tombstone? When it comes, let me sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.